Hey Aries, welcome to my channel. I'm Kyla Aditi and this is a relationship reading. It can be a relationship to anything, anyone, including yourself on any level, emotional, spiritual, physical, um, life purpose, love, romance, work, family, tribe. Just see what's resonating for you and I use kinesiology for extra context in my readings. Who are you? You are the elk, beautiful masculine grounded energy. Your block is Phoenix. So you your block. Your block is rising from the ashes. Maybe you're trying to speed through something. Because elks, you know, they, they go at a pace. The opposition, the person in this dynamic is a fire ant, so there's some aggression coming at you. And their block is the butterfly. Well, that's, that's a weird block to have because the butterfly is one of the beautiful cards in the deck. It's about transformation and lightness. So the outcome together is round and round, which was the card that the Pisces before you had. So I'll draw another card for more context. Between worlds, you've got a seven and a three, which is one new beginnings, but three is co creation, seven is spiritual. How can the phoenix be a block? It's a spirit card in the wild unknown animal deck. Root chakra, freedom from suffering, past karma, reincarnation. Oh, okay. Stuckness, dead weight falls into the ashes. Too much is what's coming through to me. Uh, giving too much, expecting too much, trying too hard. Um, we can pay lots of money for courses and and expensive um, self help and you know self care. But sometimes we just need to lie on the earth and be still and let nature come through us. Is the message that I'm getting there. Uh, is this a message about others, internal? This is another internal reading, okay. So the other aspect, the other person is yourself. You're being aggressive at yourself. Yeah, so again, that pushing pushing energy is so dirty it's it's the way to make nothing happen pretty much so um, yeah but the block there is butterfly so it feels to me that you're blocking your own transformation and, and, and blossoming <sighs> fragile frustrated so I want you to take some deep breaths in and let go of any fragility or frustration that's within you and where is it in the body? In the heart. In the heart and in the bladder. So literally you might want to do a bit of um, celery juice um, or celery tea so just stick a, a nice thing of organic celery if you can um, in, in, in boiling water and let the minerals seep into that and drink that to help cleanse the bladder meridian bladder is really connected to the brain so overthinking um, and trying to over control things um, gives it you know an excess energy we want you to transform. We want you to be able to be the phoenix rising from the ashes without feeling like that's actually blocking your path. So 
for balance and the butterfly. I'm going to see which stage you're in. Are you in cocoon, cocoon, chrysalis, caterpillar, butterfly? No, you're at the end. You're in the butterfly phase. So, who? Do you, what extra message do you need for that to get out of it? Blessed. You're blessed. No place like home. Regeneration. Yang. The tribe. Milk and honey. Poised. There is nothing but good in all of that. You just have to allow your transformation. You have to take flight. You just have to go out there and be colourful, dear Aries, um, to to get your to get to this place. You are overthinking things, going round and around, and you're trapped between worlds. So that's also the card of transformation. Round and round, 25, we will just get some extra context. Are you wondering, how did I get here again? Does something feel familiar right now in your dynamics with others? Maybe a little too familiar. Don't be surprised that you've found yourself repeating an old story with the same sort of person who may not look sim similar, but who attracted you because of your ease, easy acquaintance with his or her qualities. Okay, karmic, heavy pattern, ancestral lineage, some heavy stuff going on that you need to let go of to transform. What is it? Uh, <coughs> physical, mental, emotional, emotional. Yeah, so some em emotional patterns. So maybe look at fear, fear, rejection, negativity, self criticism negativity so maybe catch yourself uh, maybe get into a morning routine journal out any crap out of your head so it doesn't come out of your mouth for the first person you see in the world um, so to tune into your positivity do everything that you love as much as you can singing your favorite song to pick the vibration up hugging beautiful people you know beautiful in and out um, <coughs> Excuse me. Between Worlds is a beautiful flamingo going from darkness to colour. And that is a great place for transformation. Transitions, not quite not being quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another. Temporary blindness, no man's land. This is a time to explore the new energy between you and your, <clears throat> your inner world. It's not a moment for certainty, but rather for discovery and curiosity. You don't you yet know if this will last forever. So allow yourself to explore who you are and what is reflected back to you. This relationship is meant to educate you about yourself, what you do need, what you do like or dislike. What values are important to you? What are in critical? What are in a critical phase of your relationship? You are in a critical phase of your relationship that is not to be dismissed or hurried. Yeah. So tapping into feelings of being blessed, no place like home. So giving yourself enough time away from others, regeneration. So if you're in the southern hemisphere, great time for a spring. Uh, cleanse. Um, I prefer soups rather than juices depending on your constitution but I think a juice in the morning is good because your stomach is the strongest then so easier to digest cold uh, concentrated things um, otherwise beautifully solo stewed soups are nourishing you know I think nettle and kale and leek with fennel and turmeric and cumin would be great very nurturing, uh, taking some milk, milk thistle, of course this is your own, you know, your own choice but you can go and chat to health shops but milk thistle is very commonly used to help the liver cleanse in spring to feel that rejuvenation, regenerated feeling and just not give yourself a hard time and allow this transition to go in its own pace uh, and again maybe laying off extra 
extra self uh, extra you know healing work or you know just give yourself some time with books and journaling and doing whatever it is that you love to allow some messages to come with you to help the transition move forwards hmm. good luck with that sounds like some juicy times for you Aries thanks for joining me Kyla Aditi and I will see you next time